Yes, guys. Good evening to all. This evening, I'm here in. And I'm gonna do another video of the Glee area. But this park in it. Once again. Yeah. So this is looking up towards the Glebe, towards the road that will lead back to Gun Hill Signal Station. The land at Gun Hill and Newberry. And down below here is St. George Parish Church. Here. You can see the tower for St. George Parish Church here. You can see the tower for St. George Parish Church, which is the second oldest place of worship in Barbados after St. James. St. George Parish Church is the second oldest place of worship in Barbados, which was built in 1641 and we built in 1784. You can see all down the hill. And this is the Glee Polyclinic here at St. George Welfare Office. Here. All about across the road now. You can see St. George Parish Church down below here, which is the second oldest place of worship in Barbados after St. James. St. George Parish Church is built in 1641 and it's built in 1784. And up the hill here, be leading you back to the Gun Hill Signal Station. Yes, this is the Glee Polyclinic here. Uh, St. George Belfair Office. And this is the hill that will lead you back to the land at Gun Hill and the Gun Hill Signal Station. So, again, I'm in the Breadbasket Parish of St. George here in Barbados. St. George was First of all, St. George is a landlocked parish along with St. Thomas. So they don't have no sea, no coastline in these parishes. These are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados, best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. St. George is a landlocked parish and it is in the center of the island along with St. Thomas. They don't have no sea, no coastline in these parishes. St. George and St. Thomas can be best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. And this is the Glee Polyclinic and St. George Welfare Office, which is the name the Frederick Freddie Miller Polyclinic, named after former member of parliament for St. George, Frederick Freddie Miller, who was the father of Dame Billy Miller. Dan Billy Miller was a member of parliament for the city of Bushtown and Frederick Freddie Miller was a member of parliament for St. George for 18 years from 1948 to 1966 So St. George was carved out of the parish of St. Michael between 1640 and 1641. So St. Michael is the mother parish and St. George was carved out of it. The Frederick Friday Miller Polyclinic was renamed in 20, November 2022. The polyclinic here. This polyclinic was served residents living in the parish of St. George both past and present resident. St. 
So let's go to St. George, it's my father's birth parish. And for those of you who don't know who my father is, Satchmore that sings, or that used to sing years ago in the Santa Pebbles week. He is my father, and he came from the parish of St. George. St. George is an agricultural parish and uh, it is the breadbasket parish of Barbados and it is the parish where you can get your grown provisions so uh, plantations within the parish they have the Valley Plantation Brighton Plantation Sweetville Plantation and other plantations here in St. George So yes guys, St. George it is the third largest parish in Barbados and it's 1,975 years old. Looking back up again up the road now we'll be leading back to the line at Gun Hill and the Gun Hill Signal Station. This Gun Hill Signal Station is just on top of the hill here. The signal station was built in 1818 as a fortress to signal when the enemies were coming in. And it was built and it was later acquired by the Barbados National Trust. You can see the signal station on top of the hill here. The Gun Hill signal station is the highest point in this St. George Parish. You can see the red building on top of the hill is the Gun Hill signal station. So, Gunnell Signal Station is the highest point in this parish of St. George. And it, was, and it gives awesome views of 6 out of the 11 parishes in Barbados. And the lion statue at Gunhill is just below the lion, it's just below the signal station. The land was carved in 1868 by Captain Henry Wilkinson, who was an officer in the station. And the statue depicts the land resting its part on a big red one. And the land statue at Gun Hill is at the top of the hill here. George, it is a rural parish as well, and it is in the countryside. This is also a rural area, just that it is developed now. St. George has been developed. This part of St. George is developed and much busier than the other side. St. George is divided into two constituencies. There's St. George North and there's St. George South. So this is the polyclinic here. St. George right through it also up this hill. Further down, where the priest lives. Where the priest who serves St. George Parish Church live. We refer to as the right through hill. So the hill basically starts from Charles Road Bridge, which is at the bottom, below St. George Church, at the petrol station, and rises all past the church, all the way past the polyclinic, all the way up to Tiet Hill, up the road here, in Tiet Hill, all the way up to Dun Hill, and we end at Newberry. to watch it all and have a blessed evening. <laughs> yeah, yeah.
Let's go. Thanks for watching though. And have a blessed evening.